If you were in Curve PA last night, you may have ran into some fellows from out of town. I believe Google Maps would call it a galaxy far, far away. Oh, hello again. Still working on my short game. Here's a tip from a bad golfer for bad golfers. Yeah, you see on the climbing walls where I really feel, feel at home, you know, on the mountains, kind of like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Wait, did you, did you zoom out? Now, if Holly can take the time to write this essay, you can certainly take the time to vote. It's as easy as C-A-M-B-R-I-A. -A. This is a team that hadn't made the playoffs since 1992, and here they are today, the home opener. Many experts picking them to win the World Series. But I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but <laughs> the peppers mix very well with the cheese and the meat. If you're sitting at home on your couch right now, you gotta get down here to try this. The game just started. I gotta get a napkin. You wrote about your grandson that he inspired your essay. Yes, he did. What does this mean for his future? Oh, it, it just, he will never forget this as long as he lives. I Roll Tide, give me Kerwinsville. Uh, I'm, I'm just making friends all over the, the state of Pennsylvania right now. Cool guys walk away from explosions. Lumberjacks walk away from falling trees. Ninja lumberjacks? Well, see for yourself. I'm Phil Thomas, and I'm a ninja lumberjack. Ninja Lumberjack! You said it. Johnstown native Phil Thomas is competing for the second straight year on NBC's American Ninja Warrior. Now his identity as a lumberjack comes from his job building habitats for trout. So all day at work I'm running a chainsaw, cutting logs, in some cases dropping trees to use the logs. So I do that all day long at work and then I come home and I work out on top of that so I feel like I have a a great advantage when it comes to muscle fatigue and stuff like that in my grip training because I do it all day long and then come home and work out. That job got him on season one, but for season two, he needed help. Enter Ken Zala, a friend with his own home-built obstacle course. I've watched the show since it was started in Japan. I came over here and always thought, that looked really cool, I'd like to do that. I like to build things, I'm an engineer. So I decided to just start building it and uh, it kind of just took off from there. I built one, one apparatus and then just kept going. Now conquering obstacles in the woods is one thing, but under the TV lights is a whole other. Any one of these guys on the show can do every one of the obstacles that are there. And it, and it basically boils down to can you mentally get through all the obstacles. Now, if you're watching at home, you probably think maybe I can do this or you know you can't do it. I was a pretty good athlete in high school. I know I can do this, so we're gonna go try it out. Let's go find out. All right, let's do it. Where do I warm up? Yeah, I mean, I opened a salsa jar for my wife the other day. You know, she ended up finishing it off, but I loosened it. We'll put him to the test. We'll start out easy and uh, see how he does with some of the harder obstacles. I think I cheated. Now go back. Yeah, you see on the climbing walls where I really feel, feel at home, you know, on the mountains, kind of like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Wait, did you, did you zoom out? Ah. Oh, I think I had it. <laughs> <laughs> no one sees this, okay, Bill? Okay. Woo! Good job, Pat! I did it! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! All right! My Ninja Warrior? Ninja! Ninja Warrior! Ninja Warrior! All right, Phil, so I guess now that we're both Ninja Warriors, this is how we hang out? Yep. How long are we gonna do this for? Uh, about another six hours. Six hours, okay. Good evening, it was one of the biggest games of the year and also one of the biggest disappointments. Somerset just three points against Bishop Guilfoyle last week. Tonight they reset their sights on the district title, taking on Punxsutawney in our game of the week. No touchdowns last week for Somerset. That changed quickly tonight. First quarter, it's Jake Heupel, one of the best running backs you'll see, gone. 7-0 
Eagles, the versatility of the Eagle offense on display tonight. Raven Beeman this time takes the jet sweep and he yeah, runs, what is that, nine chucks? Those guys bringing Winter with them to Somerset. I'm still shivering late in the first. Chucks break through. Dakota Thomas finds Braxton, Jevin Donnie. We got a game, it's 14-6 here. But then the Eagles just steamrolled. Dylan Barnes is going to find Beeman on the screen and similar to earlier, he outruns all 11 chucks this time. Somerset moving on with a 50 to 12 win. Good evening. Steeler win streaks have been rare this season. A three game stretch mid year. The only one Pittsburgh with a chance to make it two in a row today in Atlanta control of their playoff destiny in the balance. Julio Jones out of the lineup after torching Green Bay. It's a weakness the Steelers would pounce on early. First play of the second quarter. It's Matt Ryan looking over the middle and William Gay looking right back. Steelers negative and given takeaways this season, but a huge positive right there. Gay returns it all the way. 13-0 Steelers. Late second quarter now, Ryan responds. No Julio Jones, no problem. It's Devin Hester scoring in the passing game for once. 13-7. 37 seconds left in the half now, and it's Antonio Brown doing what he does. Making plays, 110 yards for Brown. Five reception, 50-yard streak safely intact. That's going to set up star Le Le'Veon Bell. Falcons bottled him up, but he got the yards he needed to most, like these very important 13. Bell gives the Steelers a two-score lead, and the wild card is still safe. Steelers win 27 to 20. This is just a win on the way. You know, we, we need to get hot at the right time. We came into a place and played a very good football team, and um, you know, happy to get the win. We'll, we'll enjoy this for a little bit, but then get ready for um, two home games. Let's go around the division. Johnny American football making his first NFL start, but it was another rookie steal on the show. Jeremy Hill, a monstrous day, but then he's not accepted by the dog pound here. I don't know, really know what he's thinking. And then Manziel, well, let's just say Merrill Hodge probably feeling pretty good about his analysis. Let the week of what went wrong begin. Just 80 yards and two picks as since he wins 30 to nothing. Baltimore taking on Jacksonville. Steelers have the flash, but the Ravens just win. The blocked punt here. Tamar Aiken does the rest. It's seven nothing. Ravens. Jags leading though late in the third, but Joe Flacco does just enough. Hits his buddy Owen Daniels. Ravens win 2012. Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cincy all currently in the playoffs. A lot of fantasy busts today, like LaShawn McCoy. I need Rogaine after all the hair I lost tonight. Uh, I apologize if you played Odell Beckham, Jeremy Hill, or Des Bryant. If you had them, congrats. Sidney Crosby will be out at least one more game. The team announced today the captain has been diagnosed with Sydney mumps. Crosby, Crosby injured his salivary gland November 28th against Carolina, was given medication. While after stopping, his face swelled up. Initial tests for mumps came back negative. However, after Crosby's condition worsened, further testing revealed Crosby was positive for the disease, adding to a list of medical adversity the Penguins have faced this season. We're going through a period here that uh, is pretty rough. It's, uh, we have a lot of guys out, whether it's from mumps or hockey injuries, and obviously Ole with the cancer, and, and uh, so it's uh, it's a period that, that builds character, and if you can get through it, it's going to help you in the long run. Penguins, one of five teams that have had players diagnosed with mumps in the NHL. The Tomahawks dropped the series finale with Springfield today. Johnstown currently last in the North Division. President jokes for days as Penn State took on George Washington this afternoon. Early on, it's the Colonials getting the better of it. The big man, Kevin Larson here, using that height to find Joe McDonald for an easy two. George Washington up 19-16. Then the three-point shooters would wake up. Hey, it was a noon start. What do you expect? It's college. Brandon Taylor there from the outside. He had 17. Then it's the freshman, Shep Garner. Penn State takes a one-point lead. But the driving force for the Nittany Lions DJ Newbill, a pull up, count it. And then there was this, Newbill, channeling a young Kobe Bryant here. You can't defend the undefendables. Penn State wins 64-51, their best start since 95-96. Lady Lions at 85-51 win over Ryder. Lindsey Spann, a career high, 23 points. And we close with the six boards, top six. At number six, Forrest Hills has themselves a player in Eli Piner. The pull up here from deep, looking like DJ Newbell there. Smooth. They win 49-48 over Bedford. Let's go to number five. Johnstown had no answer for Brandon Martinazzi this week, just carving his way to a 
84 win. But Johnstown did redeem themselves on Saturday night. Kevin Brandon, the steal and the lay in here, man. He really wants to get that dunk. 80 52 win over Penn Cambria. At number three, it's DJ Newbill. Let's watch it again. Making plays, 20 points, none better than right there. Penn State improves to 10 and 1. Let's go to number two. There's only one way to measure Jake Heupel's lateral quickness. It's in broken ankles. Look at this insane crossover. Somerset wins the Mountain Cat Tournament. Heupel, Alterney, Dylan Barnes, MVP. Heupel topped only by the Bishop Guilfoyle Marauders. The 1918 win over Clariton capped off an undefeated season and the first football state title for Bishop Guilfoyle. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back. I would like to nominate the War Memorial Rink in Johnstown and the hockey fans of Johnstown, Pennsylvania for Kraft Hockeyville because I believe this town is a very passionate hockey community. There These are the words heritage. that helped spark a town. Johnstown is a Kraft Hockeyville finalist and it all started with Holly Lees. When it came to the Kraft Hockeyville, I almost didn't write the essay. Um, I hesitated. I thought, oh, I'm one person. What difference does it make? But because I am such a passionate hockey fan, and I, have, I had billet kids with me this season from the Tomahawks. And because of my grandson who's playing hockey, I thought, you know what, I really, I really owe it to them to sit down and at least write an essay and say, okay, I, I entered the, the, the essay contest. So she wrote, and out came the passion. A passion that a panel of judges deemed okay, strong so enough to make Johnstown one of 10 Hockeyville finalists. It, it would so much improve the, the esteem of the whole community to know that we all work together to make improvements to this arena and we, we, it's our rink. I now have a five-year-old grandson learning to play hockey and hope that he will appreciate the great hockey heritage in this community, which is why I am nominating Johnstown, Pennsylvania as the most passionate hockey community. Now, if Holly can take the time to write this essay, you can certainly take the time to vote. It's as easy as C-A-M-B-R-I-A. -A. Hey, guys. What's up, Maria? Hey, George. Oh, yeah. Pat, what is going on in sports today? I don't know. I'm about to find out. Canceled. Canceled. Jameis Winston stole crab legs? So what did the glove say to the ball? Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, yeah, everything's canceled. What do you mean everything's canceled? Was... I don't care if you have to drive all the way up to Cameron County to get something on. You better be in the 11 o'clock show. Get out. With no story and no leads, did what any good reporter would do. Head out into the world. Well, the field may be wet, but spirits are high who will stop the rain there's there's nobody here nobody here at all well one team today must have done a rain dance discouraged and beaten down from the weather in a moment of clarity it came to me i knew the source of my issues why do you hate sports so much what are you talking about you know exactly what i'm talking about tony pat i don't control the weather you know i I know you control the weather, and I know you can make it stop. Hey, be careful. Those floors are slippery. Hey, mister, mister, wake up. What? Where am I? You're in hockey heaven. Does it ever rain here? No, it's just hockey all the time. Hockey! Wake up. Hockey. Pat, wake up. You're dreaming. What? You're dreaming. Hockey. No. We cover hockey. 